Yo guys, what is up? It's your boy Riddle here. Welcome back to a brand new video. So anyways guys, in this video, I'll be telling you about my weapons, armory, build, stats, max, uh, skills, my weapons that I actually use, and pretty much all that type of stuff. Not only that, um, pretty much that's the fun thing about playing the game is that once you build up a character, you just tell people what you actually have. I did it a few times in video games. For example, I did one in Trove, uh, Trove for showing my stats for level 30, uh, 30,000 power rank. Then I did one in Happy Wars, showing my build. Then I did one in uh, Happy Wars, pretty much both new games. But when I play this game, it really does remind me of, uh, it reminds me of uh, Happy Dungeons when I play this game because there's a lot of boss fights. And yes, I really do miss Happy Dungeons. I bet you wouldn't think I'd bring that up because there's, you know, a lot of boss fights. So anyways, let's start off with my favorite weapon. My favorite weapon is the uh, the Nox, uh, and uh, and pretty much I I cut the cheese. I cut the cheese to actually get these weapons, right? So like I was actually level 25, and and uh, my recommended weapons that I actually had it was a, a 400, it was a 400 and like 20 attack, and so I bought the I bought this weapon for 250k off the uh, marketplace. Right, because I ain't playing with no weak ass weapon. So like, I'm sitting here like a level, like a level 24, a level 25, holding some strong ass weapons. And when I bought this weapon, right, it came with a lot of buffs. It came with a total of seven buffs. I had to actually put the demon challenge on there, but I leveled it up. It was like it was like plus zero until uh, you know I maxed it out. And this is my strongest, best weapon right here. So it has Mastery 3, Vendor, Vendor Soul, uh, Panic 1, Mujulin Shulson, I don't know how to pronounce that damn word, Ultimate Buster, Mark Grief, Lucky Charm, and then on the weapon it has 25 melee power, RNG power, 25 tech power, 25 melee defense, uh, 65 RNG defense, 95 tech defense, 65 dex 15, and, and uh, 90 HP So anyways, not only that that's my main weapon. Also, I forgot to, also what I wanted to actually say is that uh, When I was actually playing as a uh, I made a I made a great choice of Picking a bouncer class so pretty much from the start when I was a noob I liked it I liked it, the jet boost that is the only reason why I picked this class because of the uh, jet boost and it looks so freaking you know it looks so uh, freaking awesome, but no. Not only that, um, when I was playing that jet boost, right? I met I met a level 75 sword and blade user, right? Jet boost, I mean uh, bouncer, and he's like, "Damn, you play jet boost better than me." And then like, cause he was a sword and blade user and he refused to use jet boost. But then when I reached like level level uh, 20, I would say like level around like 18 or 20, right? That's when I start. That's when I started getting addicted to sword and blades, and I can actually see why. But uh, sword and blades can pretty much out DPS a jet boost in pretty much other classes. It's, it's really disgusting. So, anyways, about that demon challenge, right? Because I, I, I pretty much I had to freaking uh, level up. This is the best buff I ever seen in my whole entire life. Like the best buff, and this demon challenger is absolute disgusting. Increase damage to weak, weak, uh, weak point, weak spot. Let's just call it a spot. Weak spot by 60% and uh, critical rate by 70%. So let me tell you something, my boy. Each time when you hit a weak spot, that mug would do like 5K, 5K, 7K, 5K. Each hit is like 5K. But now that when you push, when you push your attack, like for example, I have lightning resistance, so that ain't gonna hurt. So when you, when I push attack. Like pretty much this attack, like into a weak spot, each of these little baby moves would do like 3k. 3k to 4k is absolute disgusting. That's how much I can do. So anyways, let's go on to my skills. My wide button lets me heal. And pretty much uh, if I'm badly hurt and if I hold it all the way down, 
I can get up to like at least 500 uh, HP. And so the RB is pretty much just my dash wig. Dash wig is pretty much just like uh, advanced, advanced blinding and like a deliver a, 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 a dash cut pretty much like this. But I use, I use dash wig, you know, different, differently. For example, how this is how I use dash wig, right? I don't use it as an attack. I use it to like travel places. Like watch. I'm, I'm messing up. I use it to like, you know, I use it to actually like, you know, travel then use it as a move. Not only that, it's also grateful. It's also helpful to get away from the enemy. You know, stuff just like, oh, I gotta get out of there. You could just, you know, travel in style. It's much faster. And so then, then we have this uh, star move. I don't really use it that much anymore since pretty much uh, I used the, uh, the little spark move. But uh, this move is actually really powerful. Does like 20,000 damage to like 30k on me though. I don't know the maximum DPS on that. And then... And then we have, let's see, I'm trying to think. Then we have this move right here. This move right here is really powerful. It, 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 is not, it doesn't do a lot of DPS. It doesn't barely do anything. But what it does is like, it brings you into the air. But not only that, you're invincible. Nothing can hurt you from that move. Nothing can't really hurt you at all. And so then I combine... I combine the uh, I combine that move with my little baby sparks, and I attack from the air. And it's a fast way to travel. Then pretty much I would swing my weapon to get my uh, to get my uh, uh, MP back, and then pretty much I just you know pretty much just stay in the air. Like stay in the air is much safer than being on ground, and that is pretty much all my moves. Next, um. Here's uh, next. Here's my uh, other weapon. This, uh, yeah. These are the Milo Brights. These are a uh, uh, 13 star weapon, right? But uh, pretty much, uh, let's see where it is. At one point, I was gonna try to max it out to level 31, but then I just pretty much I gave up because I like the Demon Challenger challenger way more but i'm gonna try to get a better a better 13 star weapon there's two more i seen pretty much and i want to try to get my hands on a titan one increased damage dealt with mid-air attacks by eight percent so like when you're in freaking air you're you increase your uh attacks by eight percent and then there's another one and that one's like elemental weakness you gotta find an elemental that's weak to your element or something i don't have the patience to go look for enemies for that and then uh, uh, PP recovery amount by 10%. So when you attack an area, increase damage to like uh, increase damage by 8%. But when you uh, when you get to plus 20 or 30, it, it you know raises up the uh, the attack thing. But I rather you know demon challenge. But I wish other weapons can have demon challenger as well. And then and then not not. And then last but not least, uh, I have the pretty much I have the sword, but I'm not really you know I'm not really a sword main. I just pretty much like I just want to actually try it out. I'm a level 66 bouncer, and I, my uh, hunter subclass is uh, level 52. And pretty much I just want to actually try it out. And those are those are pretty much those are pretty much my weapons, but uh. But uh, most likely, I stick with uh, sword and blades. So, anyways, uh, let's let's roll. Let's 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 go somewhere. Let's go somewhere else. This is gonna be a long video because uh, that was only the freaking weapons. Next, um, shoot. Next, I gotta show you my. Uh, I gotta show you my building army. I still gotta show you my army and all that, that type of stuff. It took, two, it, it took 10 minutes to explain my gear. Alright, so anyways, now we got my uh, character info. So here's my character info. A thousand, a thousand, uh, let's just say a thousand HP. A hundred and twenty-five uh, PP. I don't understand why they call it PP. Why not MP? 
I never heard no game that calls a mana, you know, like get your mana back, freaking PP. It's like, hey, yo, I need to go PP. Let me go to the bathroom real quick. <laughs> then uh, MP. Every game I always play is like SP or uh, MP. So then you have melee power. That's what I'm into pretty much. And it's uh, two, 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 two. All pretty much all twos. RNG power is uh, 546. Tech power, I never build it up. It just, uh, it comes with the uh, freaking weapon. Uh, attack power is 1,837. Dex is 914. Uh, melee defense is 1,390. And uh, RNG defense is 1,310. And uh, attack defense is uh, 1,284. And pretty much, uh, I got some... Uh, this weapon comes with nearly like a hundred each of uh, those defense. But uh, if you're, if all them defense was like 800 on super hard mode, right? Each enemy would hit you for like 700 to like 500 damage, like each hit. That's only if your defense, if all of that mug is like 800 each. But since they 1300 each, it's like each hit that's going to happen to me is going to be like, uh, well, I got beat up by a pack of wolves. So pretty much four hits would nearly kill me pretty much. Then, uh, then, uh, two hits. So like, let's say four hits is my limit in super hard mode. And then, so for my defense, right? Here's my, uh, here's my armor. So this one right here, this, uh, back P drive, it gives me... 357 uh, melee defense, RNG defense is uh, 329, and uh, tech is 342, and then my legs, my legs and arms is pretty much is actually trash, but they're really, uh, they're really uh, freaking expensive. Here's the armor I actually bought, but uh. I bought it, I bought mine for like two mil, but it was like, you know, it was actually like a good price, but like, it was like, uh, already ancient, but you gotta, uh, see what type of, uh, buffs, so like, you know, you gotta be careful of what you're actually getting, but, um, this is actually like the, uh, the strongest back piece in the game at the moment, and, uh, these, these types of gear, I, I can't I can't really tell you but uh each one fully maxed out give you up to like 300 and that's like you know strongest armor you can actually get but if you get all three of these sets pretty much like if I was to pretty much get the legs and armor but it you know it depends on what like what you actually trying to get but like you gotta be very careful because like uh, you don't want to get no one buffs or zero buffs, and that's absolutely, you know, you, you want to get, like, stuff, like, the best, you know, like, don't just don't buy no one buffs or two buffs. But, uh, if it was, like, you know, a scrub, right, the best armor I would recommend, I wouldn't say, like, uh, the best, cheapest armor I would recommend that actually helped me out. Poor hub. It's pretty much this one because this one could get you up to like uh 200 i would say like 200 230 defense for like each one if you uh get it to like plus seven not only that it only goes for like 7k you got the leg arms and pretty much you know the back piece and this is actually really cheap and i've been using this armor set and myself just picking stuff off the ground i actually uh I actually use this full electric set until I'm trying my hardest to get the uh, the powerful powerful set I recommend you to have that. And so then, um, let's go to weapons, right? Nox. I'm going to my uh, Nox. So, anyways, right for the Nox, it's going. The Nox is going for uh, you know pretty much 200k, and that's how I actually, you know, I, that's how I cut the cheese. I pretty much um I I pretty much I bought this weapon when I was actually like you know a noob off the market 
but uh you know it, it's it's for the best to like watch out you know you want to make sure you have a lot of buffs on the weapon make sure you look at the uh, the stats like uh for example look like you don't want to get this weapon because like uh this one only has one buff and mastery master three only gives you like 50 percent for each stat but like you know you want a weapon that has full out you know max buff like i i can't really i can't really stand people that upgrades the weapon with like you know not a lot of buffs on it though but yeah that's one important thing you want to watch out of what you're actually buying but some of these high prices actually you know rip off let's see like this See. all right for example this one looks this one looks freaking incredible this one has maxed out stats wait what this other one has i would say this one is actually much better well just by a little bit i was yeah, yeah i would say this one much better you got hp and dex but uh I don't know <laughs> but yeah that's how i actually that's how i actually got my weapon when i was actually like you know a newbie so then not only that when uh when i try to cut the cheese right so anyways um i know i'm, I'm gonna do my mag and then this next and that's pretty much it but when i actually try to cut the cheese right i bought the knack the Knox when i was like level 24 or 25 and then it's like, you got to have over 425 melee defense. That shows right there on the right side, melee defense required. And then you need 425. So when I was like, you know, that low, I had like 300. Like I had like somewhere around like 300 and something. I had to get an extra 100. So... I had to pretty much go to my uh go to my tree right and I actually had to main I actually main uh what you call I use hunter uh I use hunter subclass and uh the hunter subclass let me just say that I probably my tree is not really that great because you know uh I use the hunter subclass to pretty much uh help to uh to pretty much help my uh, sword and blade do extra dps but what I can actually tell you is that when I found out that I needed more melee defense to hold a Nox weapon as a low ass level, I got my, uh, you don't really, you use melee defense to like, to like, you know, pretty much up your defense. You don't really have to max this, you don't really have to max this out, you know, but I use melee defense just so I can actually get my hand, like just so I can hold a Nox in my uh, freaking hands as a low level. Is it that... It's either that you raise up your melee defense just to hold up a we uh to hold up a powerful weapon as a low level, or you just wait till like you know you get much stronger and you're already gonna get it on your own. So yeah, I use the uh, hunter subclass. This is actually like you know my tree is not actually the best. And then as for my uh, bouncer tree, right, and that's not the actual best neither because I don't even know why I actually lend it to. So anyways. There is two ways to go on this tree. Alright. So one is like you could focus, like you could focus on uh tech. You could focus on tech, which is actually your jet boost, then melee power, sword and blades. It's like you, you can't focus on both. You could possibly can, but your DPS is gonna be separate. If you focus on melee blades, like you ain't gonna do no DPS on your jet boost. Or you focus on jet boost, right? Which pretty much is a lower DPS than a uh, sword and blades. Pretty much, uh, you ain't you can't focus on sword and blade. That you don't have enough points to pretty much focus on all this stuff. And so, or you can actually focus on pretty much both, but that's not gonna really help that much. But this is like my whole trap, uh, tra uh, my whole tree. But I think I effed it up a little bit because uh, when I was a noob, I didn't actually know what I do. And I don't have a, uh, I don't have a tree reset, but. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm not sure if this is actually like the best tree build, but, uh, yeah, I'm focused on sword and blades and yeah, uh, I can't really tell much about my tree cause, uh, I, I think I left it up a little bit, but it's like somewhat decent. Okay. Feel free to stop 
But other than that, mo the most effed up thing is pretty much my mag. <laughs> because I was a noob and then I was listening to too many people to where to actually freaking go. So this is my mag buddy right here, right? So when he's equipped, uh, you could uh, you could get up to like 200 stats on whatever whatever you want, but you don't want to focus like I focused on too many stuff. But it's it's somewhat okay, but somewhere like a little effed up. So first of all, I was actually a jet boot a jet boost main, and I got my tech support up to 15 level 15. Because I wanted to actually get my, because uh, I was a, you know, a jet boost. Then I found out that I like Storm Blades more. So then I start leveling up my uh, melee support. But uh, I didn't really know where to actually go. So I try to ask some experts of what to actually do. So my buddy told me that first, when I was a jet boost, man, I should actually get my Dax up. Because Dax, Dax is pretty much just like landing some criticals, right? So he, I, so uh, he said like I should go to my deck. Then I don't know. I got something to melee defense. I don't know why that's a level one. So pretty much, um, I was actually focused on decks. Then I met a blade user, a few of them, and then they told me I should get my melee support up to uh, 200. So then I decided to go up to 200. But alone as like he said, you know. It should be okay as long as you don't have all your stats to like each one be a uh, you know freaking 30. Uh, I have at least like 47 points left, right? And I'm gonna try to get that and the rest to uh, pretty, pretty much melee support to uh, get to get it up. Or I think it was for the best to go to a uh, 200 decks, I don't really know. And otherwise, right, that is pretty much my whole build. I did struggle with the armor piece because uh, I wasn't really good at explaining pretty much that. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, I uh, before I wrap this up, I pretty much, um, I try to make a little tanky, a little tanky build of having some HP. You know, I, I really love, I really love HP because, uh, you know, it helps you, you know, to survive. <laughs> but I try to I try to be a bit a bit tanky. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, uh, I guess drop a like or tell me what you think about my build. Now this is not not actually the best build. It's 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 a, actually a random build. <laughs> not the best for like the full DPS, but I know I can actually smack a lot of good ass numbers and Stay alive without barely dying. On super hard mode, I don't even die at pretty much all. I can actually tank a lot of hits. It takes me like four hits before I can actually take an L in super hard mode. So that, that comes to short like, you know, I won't even barely die at all. <clears throat> Yuji missions could still like two shot me though. So anyways, guys, peace out.